This is a video demonstration of how to use the player and how to convert the files from DAV extension to AVI. Uh, first, this uh, player is located on our website support.techprosecurity.com. I'm going to show you really quick. You can go to support.techprosecurity.com. In here, you can type, you can go to forms and downloads, and you can type player. Click enter or hit enter, and uh, right here you can use this video player converter we have the older version and we have the latest version and you just download it and install it there is a manual included there and uh, that's it then the next step is going to be uh, going to your control panels if you're using uh, Windows, uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista we have noticed that this is an issue with those two versions and it's because of user account control or UAC uh, you have to change the the options in order for you to you know to view the file once you downloaded it from your uh, DVR. For you to do that, you have to go to Control Panel. You can go to Start Control Panel, and uh, you have to scroll down until you see User Accounts. You click on it. You change. Uh, you click here where it says Change User Account Control Settings, and by default, uh, this option right here is going to be right there okay being right there it's fine it's okay uh, but the thing is when you download the files from the web service when you're connected to the DVR either remotely or internally on the network you're not going to be able to see the files when it downloads and and this is because uh, a new uh, you know Windows 7 has a different uh, type of architecture compared with Windows XP so this is this has to be set up here to never notify. You click OK and then you reboot the machine. After you reboot the machine, you're, uh, you're, you can now view the file whenever you download it. So this has to be before you download the file from the web service. Then you can use our player. The player is a software that we include in all of the uh, DVR CDs and uh, you can convert it to AVI, you can play files, you can take snapshots and so on. Um, this is the interface of the player and then it's very easy to uh, you know utilize the software you can go to this little icon right here and you can click open file I can go to libraries and look for that video right here this is the default extension for the videos that comes from the DVR they cannot be uh, modified at the DVR they have to be modified on your computer and this is for security reasons so you can double click on it and then uh, a page like this will open and then you will be able to see the files here you can pause if you want to you can um, you know fast forward if you start playing it you can fast forward it from there or going backwards I have to stop and go backwards and uh, also you can play frame by frame this is a feature that you you know like you can go and see you know every single detail of the video and so on this little hand right here is to take a snapshot uh, the software has a default path where you uh, you can configure it you know where is it gonna be stored the, f the snapshots that you you know every time you click on it you can click this little arrow here and this is the, the menu and then you can go to settings and then from there you can change you know many things the brightness of the picture and so on you can set, you know, you click set and this is how it's going to associate the files. This particular player can play MPEG, MP4, DAV and 264 H264 files. Here you change uh, where the pictures are going to be saved and so on. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's it's very easy to use. And uh, also the next feature will be to change this particular video to AVI. This is very important because you can, if something happened and you need to uh, give this file to the authorities you cannot give it to DAV because they're not going to be able to play it unless they have the player but if it's easier for them to play it as AVI you need to convert the file so that's the next step and is pretty much 
uh, click in here where it says convert to AVI click on it and this page will open up and it is gonna ask you okay where's the file if you know where the file is uh, automatically the or if you're playing the file already the software automatically is gonna look for it and it's gonna put the particular file you know like where is it where is coming from and then you can change the target file or where the file is gonna be saved for that demonstration I mean I can do browse and right there there is a file you click on it and then I want it to be saved let's say on the desktop and then you click OK but I want it to be able to change the name if I want to so I'm just gonna put um, something different or you know I'm just gonna leave it like that and then uh, I just click convert now if you, if you see here there is a path where it's gonna be saved so I click convert and this is gonna show up and then here is the file and then I can just you know double click on it it's gonna start playing it with Windows Media Player that's it it's pretty easy to do it's pretty easy to use the software I mean the software it's uh, there is a, a manual included with the software so uh, again you can download this from our support page support that techprosecurity.com slash forums and um, I hope you like it I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.